Hey friends, let's talk about headband wigs and how to wear them. This is a common question I get constantly, so I'm gonna make a video for everyone. All right, so right now I'm gonna use this headband wig that I purchased from Amazon. It is from Sapphire Wigs. I have since partnered with them and I have shown this particular one in multiple colors. It's under $25, or at least last time I checked Amazon, it's under $25. I have a video on YouTube showing this wig. I also have a video on YouTube showing how to trim and thin it because it is incredibly long and super thick. So if you need that kind of help, you got to go to my YouTube channel for those things. I do lots of teaching on YouTube. This wig is fabulous. It feels like human hair. It's soft. It's silky. It's gorgeous. It's worth way more to me than the cheap price I paid for it. It's amazing. All right, let's put a headband wig on because new wig wearers just don't even know how to put a wig on, which I totally relate to. So what I always do is I wear a wig grip. Wig grips to me are fabulous with headband wigs. Even if you don't wear wig grips with regular wigs, I have always worn wig grips with my headband wigs, even when I didn't wear them with regular wigs. My favorite wig grip is the hair grip. I have a video on YouTube showing this and talking about their owner and their small business. They're amazing. So you put your wig grip on, I have videos showing you guys how to put wig grips on, different types of ways to uh, secure your wigs. So my YouTube channel is a treasure for new wig wearers. Now, we just take the wig and we dive in. Keep in mind, I have cut the headband off this wig. It comes with a headband. I didn't like it. I cut it off and it doesn't didn't impact it negatively at all. So now we're going to dive into this wig just like any other wig. So I like to take this front press it up against my forehead and then pull the wig over just like this. Just like that. Super simple. And then you just kind of pull it back however far you want it back. Next step, headband. First of all, can we all just take a moment and appreciate this beautiful hair? It's so beautiful. Now, let's put the headband on. This is just a cloth headband, also called a gator, and I just purchased a ton of these on Amazon in all different patterns and colors. I'll, uh, I'll create a little document with links to everything I'm showing, and I'll put that in my bio. So we just pull the headband right up over, just like this. Some people like to wear their ears tucked into their headband, so you can do that. I personally like to put it behind, so I shift the wig back a little bit, and then I tuck the headband behind my ears. That is just my personal preference. Now, this wig is so gorgeous, you can wear it just like this. You do not have to put it up into a ponytail or an updo, and it looks fabulous. So that's one option, but because I'm about to go do a lot of work and I'm gonna get really hot and sweaty, I'm gonna put it up. So, and you can put it up before you put the headband on if you want. Sometimes it's easier, the headband doesn't slide back. Sometimes it's easier to have the headband on first. It's just trial and error, figure out what works for you. So, if you want to, you can just wear it in a ponytail. I love these velvet scrunchies. I purchased them on Amazon. Again, I'll link everything. So let's say I just wanna do it in a ponytail. So I just put it in a ponytail and I'm good to go. Sometimes I wear it like this, but today I want to wear it in a messy updo because I want all the hair out of the way. So let's do that again and I'll show you how I do that. So you gather it like you're gonna put it in a ponytail and I take the scrunchie. This is a lot of hair. Some headband wigs are not as much hair, so it could be a little easier. So I, I do it like a ponytail first. Then the second time I pull the grip, the scrunchie around, I only pull it partially through, just like that. And then I twist it one more time. This part's hard because this wig is so thick. They can be hard to get through that scrunchie a second time, but we'll just go with it. So I pull it through and then I just arrange it till I like what I've got. That part will be trial and error for you. Whatever works best for you, you may have to redo it a few times, but you just sort of pull it through, take these ends that stick out, you can twist them through so they're a little messy, and there you go. That's how you wear a headband wig. I think every wig wearer should have a headband wig in their closet for days when you're gonna be doing something and you're worried about the hair. This well, nobody will know you have a wig on and you can go boating, you can go to an amusement park, you can work out, you can just do anything with it like this. 
hope that helped you guys. Thanks for watching.